wait don't screw pay attention you are going to learn a lot from this video you see over time people started saying why is it that united states of america have military base almost all over the country why is america having military base in every part of the world obviously we know it is the monitor that country because when a country happens to have a military base close to your country anytime you have a diplomatic relationship against that country it is very easy for them to launch an attack against you before you prepare before you could say jack robinson they are they have run it up okay so people were complaining in fact even nigerians even africans were saying why would america be pitching their tents of military base all around the world which is why Russia is fighting them in Ukraine and I laugh at some Africans especially Nigerians who were saying about that because they don't know that what America is doing is actually happening in their country let me bring it home for you so that you will know that the military base that America is having all over the world is even happening in your country in a local way few days ago I and a friend of mine was passing a military barrack and he said something he said tank cryer modern day tank cryer why is it that every state in nigeria has a military division they have a military division and most people in that military division are not from the ethnic extraction at which that military division is being situated he said or oh, is it because of external attacks so that the military can intervene i say you are not wrong but there's another hidden agenda why there is a military division almost in every part of the state listen it is for good but that's another reason I want to point out to you. Now pay attention. The reason is to monitor the people. The reason is not different from what America is doing in a larger scale. It is to monitor the people in that place. Let me bring it to you through historical perspective in what we call yesterday in historical terms. Before January 15th, 1966 school detail that happened in Nigeria, there were military divisions all over the country. How was it? The person that was not from the region is supposed to head the region. For instance, Chukume, Chukwemeka Odume Gojuku was the head of the military division in Kano during the first military coup d'etat. The okay? The coup d'etat that happened on 15 January 1966 did not succeed in Kano. Ojuku was there. Ojuku was an Igbo man, head of the military division in Kano. Okay? Because he's supposed to be there. How it was done was that Period to the coup d'etat in the military division all over the country, people who were not from a particular ethnic attraction were headed the military division in other ethnic groups. For instance, if you're an Aosa man, you are to head the military division in Igbo land. If you're an Igbo man, you are to head the military division in Aosa land. If you're a Yoruba man, you have to go to the south, vice versa. Okay, so that when an action is to be taken, you will not feel pity for those people because they are not your people. Because if an Igbo man is to head the military division in Igbo land and he gets an order from the federal government and say, kill them, he will not kill them because they are his people. An Aosa man will not kill the Aosa people in the north because they are his people. It's the same with a Yoruba man. So it happens that the person not from that ethnic group is to head that military division. So that when you say move, he moves. Do you understand? That is why when there was Operation Python dance in the southeast, they say, go and stop them. If it was an Igbo man there, do you think he would go and kill his brothers? No, he wouldn't. Now, that is what Agi Ironsi failed to do when he came into power. When Agi Ironsi came to power, what did he do? He made a northerner, Castina, the head of the military division in Kano. He made sure that people represented the ethnic group where they came from. Ojugu, for instance, went back to Enugu. Castina went to Kano. A Yoruba man headed the one in Yoruba, an Igbo man headed the military division in Igbo land, an Aosa man headed the division in Aosa land. And some people called Agi Irose attention, say, what are you doing? It is not like this. Agi said, no, let the people from their ethnic extraction head their place. And that was when immediately Castina joined the people that started applying the counter coup their attack against Agi because he was with his people. The coup would have been successful if Kastana was happening to be in Enugu because he cannot plan a coup d'etat against Agi Ironsi who happens to be an Igbo man with Igbo men. So when the coup d'etat succeeded and worked, what happened? It was easy for Juku to seize the first battalion that was in the southeastern part of Nigeria. If 
he was to be in Kano, do you think it would have been possible? It would have been possible because an Aosa man would have been in charge of the military division in Enugu, but he was not in charge, and Eastern was in charge. So after the war, they learned from their mistakes, and that is why today when you go to every military division in the country, it is being headed by someone else from another ethnic group so that they can watch you. The military divisions are to monitor the people to know when you are trying to carry out an act of secession. So what is happening in the biggest scene in Europe pan America is currently happening around doors. It is all about domination. It's all about power. It's all about continuity. It's all about trying to impose yourself on the people to make sure there is no loophole. As it is happening in the global scene, it is happening in the local scene. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just opening your eyes to different things to see that this is not a mistake. It is like that all over. So, the end point is this. Do not think that it's the only United States of America that is pitching tent of military base in all around the world. Have you ever heard a phrase that said, as it is above, so it is below. So, as they are doing it in that global space, your internal government is also doing it within your own sovereignty. The only difference is that your government is in charge of your sovereignty. But even as that, they are scared that there is likely to be a secession. So they are going to plant a military base in that place. When you are traveling from Kaduna to the southeast, let me give you an example. If you are traveling from Sokoto to Enugu state, you find out you are likely to see less military checkpoints all the way from the north. But immediately you get to the southeast, you start seeing a whole lot of military checkpoints. Why? Why are you seeing a whole lot of military checkpoints? You are seeing a whole lot of military checkpoints because that region is a threat. How are they a threat? They want to secede from the country. So there is need for there to be a low, long time military checkpoint in that place to make sure that these people are not preparing to secede. <laughs> the federal government learned their mistake after the civil war. What was their mistake? Their mistake was that an Igbo man was heading a military division in the east. Ojuku was the head of the military division in Enugu. If Ojuku was not heading the military division in Enugu, let us assume he was in Kano, it would have been nearly almost impossible for him to control the military division in, in the southeast. That is why you see so many military checkpoints in the south is because they do not want that kind of a thing to happen again. They open their eyes, the military division in the south is to be headed by a northerner or a southwesterner, at most a south southerner, an easterner to hand it. No, it will not happen. So you will not have time to organize yourself and carry out a war. Is this a plan? <laughs> so don't think it's only America that is pitching military base. The government is pitching military base every year and day to control you and your people, to watch over, to make sure that you are not planning anything. There are two things that make military base to stand. One, to protect you. Don't forget, they protect you. They protect you, don't forget. Secondary, to monitor you and to keep you in check. Because without check, there's likeliness that cessation will work. <laughs> Wisdom Africa is the principal thing.